Tom Bavli, <coughs> Gemara Brachot, uh, Perik Rishon, Daf Hey Amud Bet. Uh, just to we'll continue the sentence from the previous page. Tane Tana Kame de Rabbi Yochanan, Tana taught before Rabbi Yochanan, Kol HaOsek Batura Ovigmilo Chasadim, whoever engages in Torah and in bestowing kindness. The cover et banav and buries his sons. This is the new page. Mochalin lo al kol avonatav is forgiven for all his sins. Amale Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said to the Tana, Bishlama Torah ugimilu chasedim. It is understandable that studying Torah and bestowing kindness cause one's sins to be forgiven. Dirti, for it's written, bechesed veemet yehupar avon. Through kindness and truth, iniquity will be forgiven. Chesed zo gmilut chasadim, kindness. This is bestowing kindness. Shnemar is stated, Rodef tzaka va chesed yimtza chaim tzaka vechava. One who pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness, and honor. Emet zo Torah, truth. This is Torah. Shnemar, emet kene ve al tinko, purchase truth, that is Torah, and do not sell. Ela kover et banav minain, but from where does. But from where um, do we find one who buries his sons? He's forgiven. Tana lehavosava mishum rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, a certain elder taught him, uh, taught Rabbi Yochanan, that is, in the name of Rabbi Shimon bar Yochai, Atya avon avon. It is derived by uh, the linking of two words called the Gazeera Shava, avon avon, iniquity, iniquity. Ktiv hacha, it is written, Bechesed veemet yechupar avon, through kindness and truth, iniquity will be forgiven. Uchtiv hatam, and is written elsewhere, Umishalem avon avot el chek benehem, and who repays the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children. Ama Rabbi Yochanan, Negaim uvanim e nan yisurim shel ahava, Tsaraas and uh, children. Or deprivation of children are not afflictions of love. Unga imlo and saaras is not an affliction of love. But Tanya, it was taught in a brisa. Call me sheyesh bo echad me arba me arot nega im halalu. Anyone in whom there is is one of these four appearances of saaras, einan ela mizbach kaparad. They are nothing other than an altar of atonement. Which means Tsaras is indeed an affliction of love. Mizbach kaparahavud, Tsaras is an altar of atonement. Yisurin shel ahava lo havu, but it is not an affliction of love. <coughs> Alternatively, the e baitema, and if you prefer say, halan, this um, applies to us, that is, the Jews of Babel. Vehalehu this vehalehu this applies to them uh, according that applies to the Jews of Eretz Israel. Just to be clear, that means um Saras an affliction of love is for the Jews of Babel, and that Saras is not an affliction of love is for the Jews of Eretz Israel. The e baitema, <clears throat> and if you prefer say, ha uh, this is uh, this refers to tsaras that is concealed, or this is uh, concealed. Ha bepar bepar hesya, and this is where it's exposed. So if tsaras is concealed, uh, it's an affliction of love, and if tsaras is exposed. It's not an affliction of love. <clears throat> now we're going to talk about the deprivation of children. Uvanim law and children uh, or no children is that an affliction of love. Hechi dami, what is the case? If you say that one who had children and they died. The Ha'ama Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan would say, Den Garma da Asira a beer, this is a bone of my tenth son, which implies that Rabbi Yochanan lost ten sons. Uh, 
So therefore it's indeed an affliction of love because a righteous person such as Rabbi Yochanan would surely be visited with no other type of affliction. Rather this uh, is one who did not have children at all. And this, uh, so, that, so the first one, one who did not have children at all, that is not an affliction of love. And another where they where the children died, uh, that the umetu, where one had children and they died in his lifetime, that is an affliction of love. Rabbi Chiyabar Abba Halash, Rabbi Chiyabar Abba was ill. Rabbi Yochanan went to him. Amale, he asked him, Chavivin Alecha Isrim. Is this affliction dear to you? Amale, Rabbi Chibar Abba answered, Lo hen velo scharan, neither they nor their reward. Amale, Rabbi Yochanan said to him, Havli yadach, give me your hand. Yahavle yedeha ve'ukme. Rabbi Chibar Abba gave, gave him his hand and Rabbi Yochanan revived him. Rabbi Yochanan chalash. Similarly, Rabbi Yochanan was ill. Alegave, Rabbi Chanin amarle. Rabbi Chanin went to visit him and asked, are these afflictions dear to you? Amale, Rabbi Yochanan answered him, Lohen Veloskaran, neither they nor their reward. Amale, Rabbi Yochanan said back to him, Hav li yadah, give me your hand, Yahavle yadeha ve'ukme. Rabbi Yochanan gave him his hand, Rabbi Yochanan revived him. Amai, why did Rabbi Yochanan need Rabbi Yochanan's help? Lokim Rabbi Yochanan lenafshe. Let Rabbi Yochanan revive himself. Amrei, they said in answer, Ein chavush matir atzmo mi beit asurim. A captive cannot release himself from prison, meaning he needs help from outside. Rabbi Elazar chalash. Rabbi Elazar was ill. Al-Legabe Rabbi Yochanan, Sorry, I think we've gone too far. We've gone beyond the page. Hold on. Okay, we're just going to scroll down. from the top of the page. Rabbi Elazar Chalash, Rabbi Elazar was ill. Alag legabe Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan went to visit him. Chazadava ka gane bevait afel. He saw that Rabbi Elazar was lying in a dark room. Galye ledare Venafal Nehora. Rabbi Yochanan exposed his arm and light fell. Chazye dava ka bache Rabbi Elazar. He saw that Rabbi Elazar was crying. Amale, Rabbi Yochanan asked him, Amai ka bachit, why are you crying? I mishum Torah delo afshat. If it is because you did not accumulate Torah, or as much as you wanted, Shaninu, we learned. Echad hamarbe ve echad hamam it. This is a Mishnah that says both one who gives much and one who gives little. They are both equally pleasing to God. Uvilvaj shechavein libo leshemaim. Provided he directs his heart to heaven. Ve'im mishum mezonei. And if, because of lack of food, lo chol adam zocher lishte shulchanot, not everyone merits two tables. What does that mean? Not everyone has the best of both worlds to excel both spiritually and financially. Ve'im mishum and if, because of 
uh, your children who died. Dain Garma de Asira'a Bir. This is the bone of the tenth son that I lost. Amale, Rabbi as I said to Rabbi Yochanan, Lehai Shufra de Vale be Afra Ka On account of this beauty, uh, that is the beauty of Rabbi Yochanan's arm, oh sorry, on the account of uh, the beauty of Rabbi Yochanan, which will rot in the earth, I am crying. Amale, Rabbi Yochanan said to him, Alda Vedai Ka Bachit. For this you should certainly cry. Uvahu Tar Viehu. And they both cried. Adhaki Vehaki Amale. In the meantime, Rabbi Yochanan asked him, Chavivina Lecha Yisurin. Are these afflictions dear to you? Amale, Rabbi Yochanan said to him, Lohen Velo Sacharan. Neither they nor their reward. Amale, Rabbi Yochanan said to him, Hav li yadach, give me your hand. Yahav le yadeha ve'ukme. Rabbi Yochanan gave him his hand and Rabbi Yochanan revived him. Rav Huna, takifu le arba me'a dane dechama. Rav Huna had 400 barrels of wine that went, that went sour or turned to vinegar. Ah, legabe, Rav Yehuda, huha de Rav Salah, chasida ve'rabanan. Rav Yehuda, the brother of Rav Salah, chasida, as well as so the other sages went into visit him. But Amrela, Rav Ada Bar Ava Rabbanan, and some say it was Rav Ada Bar Ava and other sages. But Amrule, they said to him, La Ain Mar Bemile, let Master examine his affairs to see why he's at a loss. Amar Lehu, he said to them, Umi Chashidna Be'enechu, am I suspect in your eyes? Amrule, they said to him, Mi chashid kudshabrihu de avir dina belo dina. Is the Holy One blessed, you say, suspect of punishing without justice? Amalehu, he said to them, Iika man dishmia alai milta lema. Is there anyone who heard something about me? Let him speak. Amrule, they responded to him, Hachishmia lam. This is what we heard about you. Delo yahiv mar shabisha laaris Master did not give branches to his sharecropper. Amalehu, he said to them, Mika shavik li midi mine. Did he leave me any of them? Hakaganiv le kule. He stole all of them from me. Amrule, they said to him, Hainu da amre in she. This is a popular adage. Batar ganava genov vetam'a te'im. Steal from a, thief, from a thief and feel the taste of stealing. Amalehu, he said to them, Kabilna alai deyahivna le. I accept upon myself to give him his share. Ika de amre hadar chala vahava chamra. Some say the vinegar, that a, a miracle occurred, the vinegar turned back to wine. The Ika de Amre Yakar Chala the Izdaban Bidme de Hama. Others say the price of vinegar rose and his vinegar sold at the price of wine. Tanya, it was taught in a Braisa, Abba Binyamin Omer, Abba Binyamin said, Al Shne Dvarim Haiti Mitzta Er Koyame, all my days I took pains over two matters. Al Tfilati Shete Lifne Mitati. Over my prayers that it would be recited before my before my bed, but al mitati shetei natuna ben safon le daron, and that my bed over my bed that it would be placed uh, running north south. Al tefilati shetei lifne mitati over my prayer to that it would be recited before my bed. My lifne mitati why before my bed? Ilay my lifne mitati mamash. If you say literally before my bed, ba mar rav yodah mar rav, but Rav Yoda has said in the name of Rav, Itema Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, and some say it was Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi. Minayim lemik palel shelo yehedavah chotzet beino levein hakir. From where is it known that when one is praying, there should not be anything that separates between him and the wall? Shnei Marfred stated, Vayasev chizkiyahu panav el hakir vi palel. Hezekiah chizkiyahu turned his face to the wall and prayed. Lotema lifne mitati, do not say before my bed. Ela ema smuch lemitati, rather say close to my bed. Meaning close to the time that he got up from his bed. 
and over my bed that it will be placed from north to south. Rabbi Chama Rabbi Chanina Amar Rabbi Yitzchak Rabbi Chama the son of Rabbi Chanina said in the name of Rabbi Yitzchak Kol Hanotim Mitato Ben Safon Lederam Havyan Le Banim Zcharim Whoever places his bed from north to south will have male children. Shnema Utspuncha Tmale Bitnam Yis Beu Vanim And with your concealed treasure you will fill their belly they will be sated or satiated or satisfied with sons. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzhak Amar, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzhak said, Af ein ishto ma pelet nefalim. In addition, his wife will not miscarry. Ketiv hacha, it is written here, Utzfuncha tmale bitnam. And with your concealed treasure, you will fill their belly. Uchtiv hatam, and it's written elsewhere, Vim lau yameha la ledet vehine tomim when her term to when her term to bear grew full, then behold, there were twins in her womb. Tanya, it was taught in a brisa. Abba binyanim, binyamin omer. Shneim shenichnesol hipalel. If two people entered a shul to pray, bekadam echad mehem lipalel, and one of them uh, prayed first or finished praying first. And he did not wait for his fellow to finish, but left. His prayer is tossed aside in front of him. He who tears himself apart in his anger, the world will be abandoned, abandoned for your sake. And not only this, but he causes the Shechina, the divine presence, to be removed from Israel. The rock will be dislodged from his place. The rock is only the Holy One, blessed is he. Shinemar Tsur Yaladecha Teshi, as it stated, you ignored the rock who gave birth to you. Vim Himtin Loma Scharo, and if he did wait for him, what is his reward? <laughs>